So how do you see to analyze a case like China from a human development perspective? Well, let me go back to the human development report and, and the index. I mean, if you take just a period, for example, from 1990 to 2022, we saw uh, in China that life expectancy uh, increased by 10 years. In that same period, we also saw incomes um, jump tenfold. So here are two indices of very significant progress. But very important, and what we have repeatedly also studied and highlighted, is the focus on poverty alleviation and eradication. China has done an extraordinary journey um, from where it was 30, 40 years ago to today. And addressing poverty was one of the central drivers of this. Another one was the investment in education and with it the capacity of a workforce to also develop technological advances that today allow China to be a leader in some of the you know, digital uh, clean energy domains. You mentioned earlier on also um, electric vehicles. These are the kind of products of a very deliberate and long-term investment strategy in people, but also in technological progress. And I think perhaps the most significant you know, development over time has been China's ability to also recognize that um, air quality, biodiversity, climate change, carbon emissions are going to erode that development progress if they're not addressed. And so China has invested very heavily in decarbonization, the green transition, the green finance system. All of these are now drivers in China's ability to build a 21st century economy that not only has lifted hundreds of millions of people, but will also for the next generation ensure that it is able to thrive on this mm. planet and in our world. And in that sense, I think the Human Development Report over these decades shows a remarkable journey in development progress.